Chapters 12 through 19 of the Book of Deuteronomy from the World English Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mark Penfold. Deuteronomy from the World English Bible. Chapters 12 through 19. Chapter 12. These are the statutes and the ordinances which you shall observe to do in the land which Yahweh, the God of your fathers, has given you to possess it, all the days that you live on the earth. You shall surely destroy all the places in which the nations that you shall dispossess served their gods, on the high mountains, and on the hills, and under every green tree and you shall break down their altars, and dash in pieces their pillars, and burn their ashram with fire. And you shall cut down the engraved images of their gods, and you shall destroy their name out of that place. You shall not do so to Yahweh your God, but to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even to his habitation you shall seek, and there you shall come. And there you shall bring your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, and your tithes, and the wave offering of your hand, and your vows, and your free will offerings, and the firstborn of your herd and of your flock. And there you shall eat before Yahweh your God, and you shall rejoice in all that you put your hand to, you and your households, in which Yahweh your God has blessed you. You shall not do after all the things that we do here this day, every man whatever is right in his own eyes. For you haven't yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which Yahweh your God gives you. But when you go over the Jordan, and dwell in the land which Yahweh your God causes you to inherit, and he gives you rest from all your enemies around you, so that you dwell in safety, then it shall happen that to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there, there you shall bring all that I command you your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, your tithes, and the wave offering of your hand, and all your choice vows which you vow to Yahweh. You shall rejoice before Yahweh your God, you, and your sons, and your daughters, and your male servants, and your female servants, and the Levite who is within your gates, because he has no portion nor inheritance with you. Take heed to yourself that you don't offer your burnt offerings in every place that you see, but in the place which Yahweh shall choose in one of your tribes, there you shall offer your burnt offerings, and there you shall do all that I command you. Notwithstanding, you may kill and eat flesh within all your gates, after all the desire of your soul, according to the blessing of Yahweh your God, which he has given you. The unclean and the clean may eat of it, as of the gazelle, and as of the heart. Only you shall not eat the blood, you shall pour it out on the earth as water. You may not eat within your gates the tithe of your grain, or of your new wine, or of your oil, or the firstborn of your herd, or of your flock, nor any of your vows which you vow, nor your freewill offerings, nor the wave offering of your hand but you shall eat them before Yahweh your God in the place which Yahweh your God shall choose, you, and your son, and your daughter, and your male servant, and your female servant, and the Levite who is within your gates. And you shall rejoice before Yahweh your God in all that you put your hand to. Take heed to yourself that you don't forsake the Levite as long as you live in your land. When Yahweh your God shall enlarge your border, as he has promised you, and you shall say, I want to eat meat, because your soul desires to eat meat, you may eat meat, after all the desire of your soul. If the place which Yahweh your God shall choose to put his name there is too far from you, then you shall kill of your herd and of your flock, which Yahweh has given you, as I have commanded you, and you may eat within your gates, after all the desire of your soul. Even as the gazelle and as the heart is eaten, so you shall eat of it. The unclean and the clean may eat of it alike. Only be sure that you don't eat the blood, for the blood is the life, 
and you shall not eat the life with the flesh. You shall not eat it. You shall pour it out on the earth as water. You shall not eat it, that it may go well with you, and with your children after you, when you shall do that which is right in the eyes of Yahweh. Only your holy things which you have, and your vows you shall take, and go to the place which Yahweh shall choose. And you shall offer your burnt offerings, the flesh and the blood, on the altar of Yahweh your God. And the blood of your sacrifices shall be poured out on the altar of Yahweh your God, and you shall eat the flesh. Observe and hear all these words which I command you, that it may go well with you, and with your children after you forever, when you do that which is good and right in the eyes of Yahweh your God. When Yahweh your God shall cut off the nations from before you, where you go in to dispossess them, and you dispossess them, and dwell in their land, take heed to yourself, that you not be ensnared to follow them, after that they are destroyed from before you, and that you not inquire after their gods, saying, How do these nations serve their gods? I will do likewise. You shall not do so to Yahweh your God, for every abomination to Yahweh which he hates have they done to their gods. For even their sons and their daughters do they burn in the fire to their gods. Whatever thing I command you, that you shall observe to do. You shall not add thereto, nor diminish from it. Chapter 13 If there arise in the midst of you a prophet, or a dreamer of dreams, and he give you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder comes to pass, of which he spoke to you, saying, Let us go after other gods, which you have not known, and let us serve them. You shall not listen to the words of that prophet, or to that dreamer of dreams, for Yahweh your God proves you, to know whether you love Yahweh your God, with all your heart, and with all your soul. You shall walk after Yahweh your God, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and you shall serve him, and cling to him. That prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, shall be put to death, because he has spoken rebellion against Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, to draw you aside out of the way which Yahweh your God commanded you to walk in. So you shall put away the evil from the midst of you. If your brother, the son of your mother, or your son, or your daughter, or the wife of your bosom, or your friend, who is as your own soul, entice you secretly, saying, let us go and serve other gods, which you have not known, you, nor your fathers, of the gods of the peoples who are around you, near to you, or far off from you, from the one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth. You shall not consent to him, nor listen to him, neither shall your eye pity him, neither shall you spare, neither shall you conceal him, but you shall surely kill him. Your hand shall be first on him, to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people. You shall stone him to death with stones, because he hath sought to draw you away from Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. All Israel shall hear, and fear, and shall not do any more such wickedness as this in the midst of you. If you shall hear tell concerning one of your cities, which Yahweh your God gives you to dwell there, saying, Certain base fellows are gone out from the midst of you, and have drawn away the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which you have not known. Then you shall inquire, and make search, and ask diligently, and behold, if it be truth, and the thing certain, that such abomination is done in the midst of you, you shall surely strike the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly, and all that is therein, and its livestock, with the edge of the sword. You shall gather all its spoil into the midst of its street, and shall burn with fire the city, and all its spoil, every wit, to Yahweh your God. And it shall be a heap for ever, it shall not be built again. Nothing of the devoted thing shall cling to your hand, that Yahweh may turn from the fierceness of his anger, and show you mercy, and have compassion on you, and multiply you, as he has sworn to your fathers. 
when you shall listen to the voice of Yahweh your God, to keep all his commandments which I command you this day, to do that which is right in the eyes of Yahweh your God. Chapter 14 You are the children of Yahweh your God. You shall not cut yourselves, nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. For you are a holy people to Yahweh your God, and Yahweh has chosen you to be a people for his own possession, above all peoples who are on the face of the earth. You shall not eat any abominable thing. These are the animals which you may eat. The ox, the sheep, and the goat, the hart, and the gazelle, and the roebuck, and the wild goat, and the ibex, and the antelope, and the chamois. Every animal that parts the hoof, and has the hoof cloven in two, and chews the cud among the animals, that you may eat. Nevertheless, these you shall not eat of them that chew the cud, or of those who have the hoof cloven, the camel, and the hare, and the rabbit. Because they chew the cud, but don't part the hoof, they are unclean to you. The pig, because it has a split hoof, but doesn't chew the cud, is unclean to you. Of their flesh you shall not eat, and their carcasses you shall not touch. These you may eat of all that are in the waters. Whatever has fins and scales may you eat, and whatever doesn't have fins and scales you shall not eat, it is unclean to you. Of all clean birds you may eat, but these are they of which you shall not eat, the eagle, and the vulture, and the osprey, and the red kite, and the falcon, and the kite after its kind, and every raven after its kind, and the ostrich, and the owl, and the seagull, and the hawk after its kind, the little owl, and the great owl, and the horned owl, and the pelican, and the vulture, and the cormorant, and the stork, and the heron after its kind, and the hoopoe, and the bat. All winged creeping things are unclean to you, they shall not be eaten. Of all clean birds you may eat. You shall not eat of anything that dies of itself. You may give it to the foreigner living among you who is within your gates, that he may eat it, or you may sell it to a foreigner, for you are a holy people to Yahweh your God. You shall not boil a young goat in its mother's milk. You shall surely tithe all the increase of your seed, that which comes forth from the field, year by year. You shall eat before Yahweh your God in the place which he shall choose to cause his name to dwell there the tithe of your grain, of your new wine, and of your oil, and the firstborn of your herd and of your flock, that you may learn to fear Yahweh your God always. If the way is too long for you, so that you are not able to carry it, because the place is too far from you, which Yahweh your God shall choose, to set his name there, when Yahweh your God shall bless you, then you shall turn it into money, and bind up the money in your hand, and shall go to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose. And you shall bestow the money for whatever your soul desires, for cattle, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatever your soul asks of you. And you shall eat there before Yahweh your God, and you shall rejoice, you and your household. The Levite who is within your gates, you shall not forsake him, for he has no portion nor inheritance with you. At the end of every three years you shall bring forth all the tithe of your increase in the same year, and shall lay it up within your gates. And the Levite, because he has no portion nor inheritance with you, and the foreigner living among you, and the fatherless, and the widow who are within your gates, shall come and shall eat and be satisfied, that Yahweh your God may bless you in all the work of your hand which you do. Chapter 15 At the end of every seven years you shall make a release. This is the way of the release. Every creditor shall release that which he has lent to his neighbor. He shall not exact it of his neighbor and his brother, because Yahweh's release has been proclaimed. Of a foreigner you may exact it, but whatever of yours is with your brother, your hand shall release. However, there shall be no poor with you. For Yahweh will surely bless you in the land which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance to possess it. 
if only you diligently listen to the voice of Yahweh your God, to observe to do all this commandment which I command you this day. For Yahweh your God will bless you, as he promised you. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And you shall rule over many nations, but they shall not rule over you. If a poor man, one of your brothers, is with you within any of your gates in your land which Yahweh your God gives you, you shall not harden your heart, nor shut your hand from your poor brother, but you shall surely open your hand to him, and shall surely lend him sufficient for his need, which he lacks. Beware that there not be a base thought in your heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release, is at hand and your eye be evil against your poor brother, and you give him nothing, and he cry to Yahweh against you, and it be sin to you. You shall surely give him, and your heart shall not be grieved when you give to him, because that for this thing Yahweh your God will bless you in all your work, and in all that you put your hand to. For the poor will never cease out of the land. Therefore I command you, saying, you shall surely open your hand to your brother, to your needy, and to your poor in your land. If your brother, a Hebrew man, or a Hebrew woman, is sold to you, and serves you six years, then in the seventh year you shall let him go free from you. When you let him go free from you, you shall not let him go empty. You shall furnish him liberally out of your flock, and out of your threshing floor, and out of your winepress, as Yahweh your God has blessed you, you shall give to him. You shall remember that you were a bondservant in the land of Egypt, and Yahweh your God redeemed you. Therefore I command you this thing today. It shall be, if he tells you, I will not go out from you, because he loves you and your house, because he is well with you. Then you shall take an awl, and thrust it through his ear to the door, and he shall be your servant for ever. Also to your female servant you shall do likewise. It shall not seem hard to you when you let him go free from you, for to the double of the hire of a hireling has he served you six years, and Yahweh your God will bless you in all that you do. All the firstborn males that are born of your herd and of your flock you shall sanctify to Yahweh your God. You shall do no work with the firstborn of your herd, nor shear the firstborn of your flock. You shall eat it before Yahweh your God, year by year, in the place which Yahweh shall choose, you and your household. If it has any blemish, is lame or blind, or has any defect whatever, you shall not sacrifice it to Yahweh your God. You shall eat it within your gates, the unclean and the clean shall eat it alike, as the gazelle and as the heart only you shall not eat its blood. You shall pour it out on the ground as water. Chapter 16 Observe the month of Abib, and keep the Passover to Yahweh your God. For in the month of Abib Yahweh your God brought you forth out of Egypt by night. You shall sacrifice the Passover to Yahweh your God, of the flock and the herd, in the place which Yahweh shall choose, to cause his name to dwell there. You shall eat no leavened bread with it. You shall eat unleavened bread with it seven days, even the bread of affliction. For you came forth out of the land of Egypt in haste, that you may remember the day when you came forth out of the land of Egypt all the days of your life. No yeast shall be seen with you in all your borders seven days, neither shall any of the flesh, which you sacrifice the first day at evening, remain all night until the morning. You may not sacrifice the Passover within any of your gates, which Yahweh your God gives you, but at the place which Yahweh your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell in, there you shall sacrifice the Passover at evening, at the going down of the sun, at the season that you came forth out of Egypt. You shall roast and eat it in the place which Yahweh your God shall choose, and you shall turn in the morning and go to your tents. Six days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly to Yahweh your God. You shall do no work. You shall count for yourselves seven weeks. From the time you begin to put the sickle to the standing grain, you shall begin to number seven weeks. 
you shall keep the feast of weeks to Yahweh your God, with a tribute of a free will offering of your hand, which you shall give, according as Yahweh your God blesses you. And you shall rejoice before Yahweh your God, you and your son, and your daughter, and your male servant, and your female servant, and the Levite who is within your gates, and the foreigner, and the fatherless, and the widow who are in the midst of you, in the place which Yahweh your God shall choose, to cause his name to dwell there. You shall remember that you were a bondservant in Egypt, and you shall observe and do these statutes. You shall keep the feast of tents seven days. After that you have gathered in from your threshing floor and from your winepress, and you shall rejoice in your feast, you and your son and your daughter and your male servant and your female servant and the Levite and the foreigner and the fatherless and the widow who are within your gates. You shall keep a feast to Yahweh your God seven days in the place which Yahweh shall choose, because Yahweh your God will bless you in all your increase and in all the work of your hands, and you shall be altogether joyful. Three times in a year shall all your males appear before Yahweh your God, in the place which he shall choose, in the feast of unleavened bread, and in the feast of weeks, and in the feast of tents. And they shall not appear before Yahweh empty. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of Yahweh your God, which he has given you. You shall make judges and officers in all your gates, which Yahweh your God gives you, according to your tribes, and they shall judge the people with righteous judgment. You shall not wrest justice, you shall not respect persons, neither shall you take a bribe, for a bribe does blind the eyes of the wise, and pervert the words of the righteous. You shall follow that which is altogether just, that you may live and inherit the land which Yahweh your God gives you. You shall not plant for yourselves an Asherah of any kind of tree beside the altar of Yahweh your God, which you shall make for yourselves. Neither shall you set yourself up a pillar, which Yahweh your God hates. Chapter 17 You shall not sacrifice to Yahweh your God an ox, or a sheep, in which is a blemish, or anything evil for that is an abomination to Yahweh your God. If there is found in the midst of you, within any of your gates which Yahweh your God gives you, man or woman, who does that which is evil in the sight of Yahweh your God, in transgressing his covenant, and has gone and served other gods, and worshipped them, or the sun, or the moon, or any of the army of the sky, which I have not commanded, and it be told you, and you have heard of it, then you shall inquire diligently. And behold, if it be true, and the thing certain, that such abomination is done in Israel, then you shall bring forth that man or that woman, who has done this evil thing to your gates, even the man or the woman, and you shall stone them to death with stones. At the mouth of two witnesses, or three witnesses, shall he who is to die be put to death. At the mouth of one witness he shall not be put to death. The hand of the witnesses shall be first on him to put him to death, and afterward the hands of all the people. So you shall put away the evil from the midst of you. If there arises a matter too hard for you in judgment, between blood and blood, between plea and plea, and between stroke and stroke, being matters of controversy within your gates, then you shall arise and go up to the place which Yahweh your God shall choose, and you shall come to the priests, the Levites, and to the judge who shall be in those days. And you shall inquire, and they shall show you the sentence of judgment. You shall do according to the tenor of the sentence which they shall show you from that place which Yahweh shall choose. And you shall observe to do according to all that they shall teach you, according to the tenor of the law which they shall teach you, and according to the judgment which they shall tell you, you shall do. You shall not turn aside from the sentence which they shall show you, to the right hand, or to the left. The man who does presumptuously, in not listening to the priest who stands to minister there before Yahweh your God, or to the judge, even that man shall die, and you shall put away the evil from Israel. All the people shall hear, and fear, and do no more presumptuously. When you have come to the land which Yahweh your God gives you, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, 
I will set a king over me like all the nations that are around me. You shall surely set him king over yourselves, whom Yahweh your God shall choose. One from among your brothers you shall set king over you. You may not put a foreigner over you who is not your brother. Only he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt, to the end that he may multiply horses. Because Yahweh has said to you, You shall not go back that way again. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself, that his heart not turn away. Neither shall he greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. It shall be, when he sits on the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write him a copy of this law in a book, out of that which is before the priests, the Levites. And it shall be with him, and he shall read therein all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear Yahweh his God, to keep all the words of this law and these statutes, to do them, that his heart not be lifted up above his brothers, and that he not turn aside from the commandment, to the right hand or to the left, to the end that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children, in the midst of Israel. Chapter 18 The Priests, the Levites, all the tribe of Levi, shall have no portion nor inheritance with Israel. They shall eat the offerings of Yahweh made by fire, and his inheritance. They shall have no inheritance among their brothers. Yahweh is their inheritance, as he has spoken to them. This shall be the priests do from the people, from those who offer a sacrifice, whether it be ox or sheep, that they shall give to the priest the shoulder, and the two cheeks, and the maw. The first fruits of your grain, of your new wine, and of your oil, and the first of the fleece of your sheep, you shall give him. For Yahweh your God has chosen him out of all your tribes, to stand to minister in the name of Yahweh, him and his sons for ever. If a Levite comes from any of your gates, out of all Israel, where he lives as a foreigner, and comes with all the desire of his soul to the place which Yahweh shall choose, then he shall minister in the name of Yahweh his God, as all his brothers the Levites do, who stand there before Yahweh. They shall have like portions to eat, besides that which comes of the sale of his patrimony. When you have come into the land which Yahweh your God gives you, you shall not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found with you any one who makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, one who uses divination, one who practices sorcery, or an enchanter, or a sorcerer, or a charmer, or a consulter with a familiar spirit, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For whoever does these things is an abomination to Yahweh, and because of these abominations Yahweh your God does drive them out from before you. You shall be perfect with Yahweh your God. For these nations that you shall dispossess Listen to those who practice sorcery, and to diviners. But as for you, Yahweh your God has not allowed you to do so. Yahweh your God will raise up to you a prophet from the midst of you, of your brothers, like me. You shall listen to him. This is according to all that you desired of Yahweh your God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of Yahweh my God, neither let me see this great fire any more, that I not die. Yahweh said to me, They have well said that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brothers, like you, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I shall command him. It shall happen that whoever will not listen to my words which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet who shall speak a word presumptuously in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who shall speak in the name of other gods, that same prophet shall die. If you say in your heart, How shall we know the word which Yahweh has not spoken, when a prophet speaks in the name of Yahweh? If the thing doesn't follow, nor happen, that is the thing which Yahweh has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You shall not be afraid of him. Chapter 19 When Yahweh your God shall cut off the nations, whose land Yahweh your God gives you, and you succeed them, and dwell in their cities and in their houses, 
You shall set apart three cities for you in the midst of your land, which Yahweh your God gives you to possess it. You shall prepare you the way, and divide the borders of your land, which Yahweh your God causes you to inherit, into three parts, that every manslayer may flee there. This is the case of the manslayer, that shall flee there and live. Whoever kills his neighbor unawares, and didn't hate him in time past, as when a man goes into the forest with his neighbor to chop wood, and his hand fetches a stroke with the axe to cut down the tree, and the head slips from the handle, and lights on his neighbor so that he dies, he shall flee to one of these cities and live, lest the avenger of blood pursue the manslayer while his heart is hot, and overtake him because the way is long, and strike him mortally, whereas he was not worthy of death inasmuch as he didn't hate him in time past. Therefore I command you, saying, You shall set apart three cities for yourselves. If Yahweh your God enlarges your border, as he has sworn to your fathers, and gives you all the land which he promised to give to your fathers, if you keep all this commandment to do it, which I command you this day, to love Yahweh your God, and to walk ever in his ways, then you shall add three cities more for yourselves, besides these three, that innocent blood not be shed in the midst of your land, which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance, and so blood be on you. But if any man hates his neighbor, and lies in wait for him, and rises up against him, and strikes him mortally so that he dies, and he flees into one of these cities, then the elders of his city shall send and bring him there, and deliver him into the hand of the avenger of blood, that he may die. Your eye shall not pity him, but you shall put away the innocent blood from Israel, that it may go well with you. You shall not remove your neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set, in your inheritance which you shall inherit, in the land that Yahweh your God gives you to possess it. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity, or for any sin, in any sin that he sins. At the mouth of two witnesses, or at the mouth of three witnesses, shall a matter be established. If an unrighteous witness rise up against any man to testify against him of wrongdoing, then both the men, between whom the controversy is, shall stand before Yahweh, before the priests and the judges who shall be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition, and behold, if the witness is a false witness, and has testified falsely against his brother, then you shall do to him as he had thought to do to his brother. So you shall put away the evil from the midst of you. Those who remain shall hear, and fear, and shall henceforth commit no more any such evil in the midst of you. Your eye shall not pity, life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. The End of Chapters 12-19 through 19 of the Book of Deuteronomy from the World English Bible. Recording by Mark Penfold.